in my last video, I showed how you can take your stuffing material, you know, the hazardous stuff that I've got here, rock wool, fiberglass, you know, if you don't want to be exposed to the fibers, gear up, get your hazmat suit on, your mask, everything. Be careful with it with gloves on, put it in the bag, seal it up, and then you can take that and put it in your speakers. You can even put it in the smaller bags than this, you know, little sandwich bags even, and then position those inside your, your speaker and stick them in place with double-sided tape or spray glue or hot milk glue even, so they won't move around and you won't be exposed to the fibers, you know, even on an invented box. So I did that, but I got comments from people saying that they thought the plastic would be more of a barrier, that it would stop some of the sound. And this comes down to the way that people think about sound, or at least the people that do think about sound, because most people don't think about it. And that's as air moving, but it's not. It's energy that moves through the air. Take a hand clap, for example, if you take your hands and you clap them together. Now, the first thing you'll hear is a sound, of course, but you'll also feel a little bit of wind on your face where the hands come together because you're disturbing the air. That's not the sound. The sound is what happens when your two hands contact each other. That contact creates an energy bubble of sound that radiates out into the air, travels through the air. Now, the air may move, but the main mechanism is the sound traveling through the air as a medium. So another medium is a plastic bag, any kind of plastic, any kind of solid, any kind of gas, actually. Sound will go through it, will travel through it. So in the case of plastic, it is a solid, but it's very thin and it will have some reflection. It will reflect some energy back, but not very much. Okay. So the sound hits it and a tiny amount reflects back, but the majority of it goes through. And to demonstrate that a little bit better, I set something up. I've got a big speaker here that can reproduce a 40 Hertz tone. And I played that into the speaker and I measured what my lavalier microphone, this one right here, was picking up and I put these materials in between. So I started with the rock wool and I should point out that I'm switching back and forth between the microphone that's in the camera and the microphone that's right in front of the speaker. So you can hear the difference. In particular, you can hear the crackling of the bag when I'm handling it, because that's another comment I got. People were concerned about, okay, the sound causing the bag to crackle inside the box. and this should show that that's not likely to happen unless you get it too close to the speaker, as in touching the speaker, that it's actually disturbing it a lot. Okay, so started with the rock wool, put it in between. You can see that the sound is still reaching the microphone, but it's attenuated by a small amount. Then I switched to the piece of fiberglass that I have in the same bag. This one's currently taken out of the bag because I ran another experiment where I needed the bag. And once again, you can see that the sound is going through it, but it's being attenuated by a small amount. And then what I did was I took an empty bag and I put that between the microphone and the speaker to see what happens there. And once again, there is some attenuation, but it's very small. As it turns out, it's less than a dB. Now, while I was holding the bag that had the fiberglass in it, uh, the bag appeared to be waving back and forth, maybe in sympathy with the speaker. And I'm sure that some of that's going to happen. But to get a better idea, because my hand's not the steadiest, I'm not really that shaky, but it's not rock steady. I set up a boom to hold the bag in front of the speaker and ran the tone again. And you can see that it does move, especially when I start and stop the tone. Then you get a bit of a spike there, but there isn't any crackling. 
the bag is not moving enough, violently enough, for that to happen. What I'm doing here is I'm taking those recordings and I'm roughly matching them up to see how much attenuation there actually is. And you can see for the uh, rock wall that it's almost three decibels. Uh, that's 2.64 to be exact. And then for the fiberglass that drops down to 2.3 decibels. And then for the bag alone it's less than a decibel, like I said before. And at this point, I'm sure that a few of you are thinking that the sound is just going around the bag. It's going around the stuff because the microphone is out in the open. After all, we can hear it on the camera. What if you take the microphone and put it inside the bag and see what happens then? Well, I did that. And here are the results. The microphone is inside the bag. It's not touching the plastic. It's kind of floating in the middle there. The bag is partly inflated and it's hung from that same stick that I used before. And we can hear that definitely sound is getting through that plastic bag to that microphone. If anything, it's a bit louder, in fact. So to sum all this up, sound is energy and it goes through mediums, air, plastic, damping material. But when it does, it tends to reflect off solids. Um, the more solid the medium is, the more of the sound will reflect. As we saw, most of the bass frequencies go right through this unobstructed, but some very high frequencies will be reflected. Now, the damping material, as I've said before in other videos, absorbed that energy, that sound energy. As the sound goes through it, it absorbs it. And the two that I use are the rock wool and the fiberglass. I didn't have any polyfill on hand to compare, but as I showed in another video a couple years ago, uh, this is the best um, by weight. This is second best and polyfill is a, a distant runner up. These are the only two. If I'm serious about damping inside a speaker, these are the only two that I would use. But I do have some foam ordered that I'm going to be testing soon. So stay tuned for that.